Bernie Sanders has taken the internet by storm. And I'm sure if you've been on the internet this week, you've seen this meme going around. Making memes really isn't that hard. And I thought this is a good time to show you how you can make any of your favorite memes with PowerPoint, not even needing Photoshop. Let's do this. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to Google and get an image that you wanna put in another image as a meme. So here we have the Bernie picture from the inauguration, but this one has a background and would be hard to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the tools button in Google images. And you have a few options here. One of them, color, select that and hit transparent. At that point, what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up images where someone has already taken the background out. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's open one of those in a new tab and save it so that we can use it as our like meme template. At this point, um, I love The Office. So I'm gonna go and get a backdrop from The Office to show you a simple example of how you can put Bernie in your favorite show. So now opening up PowerPoint, we're gonna insert a new slide. Um, just a blank slide and I'm going to paste this picture that I got from the office and at this point we need to bring Bernie in so I'm going to go and click insert images image from file and select the file that we downloaded earlier with the transparent background easy right at this point we can position it make him bigger make him fit in there and if we want to really get crazy, we can do um, some special stuff like adding a background shadow to kind of make it feel like he's actually in the room. So clicking on picture format, there's a few different options we can do. Right here, I'm going to select the effects and shadow. And the shadow by default does not look great, but luckily we can go in and we can change that. So I'm going to blur the shadow a little bit to make it feel a little bit more realistic. And then you can change the position and, and rotate it to where it looks a little bit more natural. And that easy, with PowerPoint, we're able to create this meme that we can send to our friends, our family, or whoever, and impress them with our mad skills. What we're gonna do now is click File and Export. We're going to go into the export options and change the file format from PDF, the default, to JPEG. At that point, we can name our file, whatever we want the picture's name to be, and we can change the width and the height to make it the right size. And that's all you need to do to create your image. So that was pretty basic. Let's show you how to create one that's a little bit more complicated, still within PowerPoint. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get an image that's got a little bit more going on. And I'm gonna copy that, same as before, insert a new slide and paste the image that I wanna put Bernie into. So once we have our image in, we're gonna select where we wanna put him. And let's say this area back by Phyllis looks pretty nice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click insert tab and we're gonna select shapes and the custom shape tool. And at this point, we're going to trace an outline of the area where we want him to be. Um, take your time with this. There is a way to adjust it later, but you, you just want to be about as close as possible when you first do it. You can either click and drag, like you're drawing with the pencil, or you can click, 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 and it'll connect the lines as you, as you click. So here it gave me this shape of this outline of where we want him to go. I'm gonna turn the outline off of the image to start off. And then here in the fill options, you can choose to fill it with an image. I'm gonna go find the Bernie picture in my recent images and paste it in. And by default, it's gonna smush him to fit in that shape. It doesn't look so great. So at this point, we're gonna do a few adjustments to make it look a little more natural. The first thing we're gonna do is click this picture format tab at the top, um, and we're gonna hit crop. And at this point, we can adjust the image. So you're gonna need to grab the white boxes 
to stretch him back out and kind of like fit him the way that he would be. And what it's going to do is anywhere that's not in the shape is going to be cropped out so you won't even see it. And this is gonna give him the appearance of being behind the desk. And just like that, that looks pretty good. At this point, you're gonna notice that he looks a little bit sharper than people in the background and it, it looks kind of fake. So we're gonna adjust that now. Um, first, let's take care of the edges. So click on Shape Format. And by where we had the outline earlier, there's Effects. And we're gonna click Effects and go to Soft Edges. And just choose the first one. And that's just gonna make it a little bit more subtle so he's not so like cut out like paper. So now we're gonna click on Picture Format again. And we're gonna go to the Corrections tab. And there's the ability to soften or sharpen an image. And softening it is just gonna kind of blur it like he's in the background. So I'm gonna select a default soften and just like that, that looks pretty good. It, it looks like he fits there in the office. So you can adjust the sharpness uh, manually within this format window and get it just right. And then if you need to, you can come in and you can actually edit the, the outline that you drew in case you realize that there's somewhere that's kind of goofed up. So you're gonna click Shape Format again, and you're gonna click Edit Shape and Edit Points. And then you can go in and you can zoom in and you'll notice that this one was a pretty complicated one, so there's a lot of points, but you can click and drag them around and adjust it if you want. And that's it. Just like that, you have the ability to go in and add Bernie or whatever into the background of any picture you want. I hope you enjoyed this. If you found it useful, feel free to share it with someone who might benefit from it. Feel free to check out my channel and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.